Are sales declining? Is marketing lacking engagement? It could be economic challenges or you're facing the product life cycle. Hey everyone, I'm Kyla from Vengage. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the six stages of your product life cycle and what you can learn from it to improve your business. Number one, research and development. This is when you move from thinking to doing. Time to experiment, fail, and improve towards a sleek finished product that you can take to market. Money is burning right now and you're pouring money into the creation of your product. And obviously, you're not making any sales right now. Number two, introduction. After years of hard work, it's all come down to this moment. But because the market's a busy and competitive place, you need to get potential buyers excited about your product. Time to hit the promo, which means investing in marketing and promotion to drive awareness. Events, paid media, videos, endorsements, partnerships, social media, email campaigns. For any sort of marketing you do, design comes as a foundation. And if you're seeking the best online design tool, consider using Vengage. It offers pre-designed templates for nearly all of your design needs. And with its online template editor, you can customize them in just a couple of minutes and download them in any format that you prefer. Number three, gross. People are buying your product, and that's all thanks to promotional efforts and the fact that you've built a super handy product. Sales are increasing along with demand. At this stage, you're doing well. You may notice your competitors are now trying to copy you, but all of that copying is going to make a difference later on in the life cycle. Number four, maturity. Sadly, very few demands are infinite, so as good as your product is, you're guaranteed to see demand slow down at some point. Plus, remember those competitors trying to copy you? They're trying to squeeze demand as well. But it's not all bad news. Your product is established now, and you're still selling and your cash flow should stay strong. Number five, saturation. At this stage, there's over-availability of your product and products like it, meaning supply is higher than demand, which leads to point number six, decline. Over time, your sales start to decrease. The market's now so saturated that your product in its original form isn't differentiated enough. This often leads to slowing or completely stopping production marketing and slashing prices. And now you're in a negative cash flow. Product life cycles are almost never this straightforward, and there are tons of tactics you can use to help your product stay relevant. For example, you can create product extensions, release variants of the same product in new packaging or branding. Think Coca-Cola creating Diet Coke Cherry Coke, and Coke Zero. These are variants of the same idea, but they massively increase Coca-Cola's ability to sell to more people. Next, advertise to create a new audience or reinvigorate your current audience. Again, Coca-Cola positioned Diet Coke not as a different version of the same thing, but as a healthy version, a tasty drink for the calorie conscious consumer. Keep in mind the product life cycle is a valuable tool for tracking your journey. It helps you forecast over time and adapt your strategy depending on the stage that you're in. And that's a wrap for today. Try using Vengage for free. Don't forget to follow us on social media and I'll see you in the next one.